Hi everyone, I am Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin. It's my pleasure to thank you all for participating in the University Center for Regional Economic Innovations Statewide Summit. I hope you had a really productive first day and that today's session was really valuable as well. Um, in Congress, I have the honor of representing Michigan's 8th Congressional District. Um, which includes East Lansing and the MSU campus. So I will admit I'm a bit of a fangirl when it comes to MSU research, development, and community involvement. Um, I'm a big believer in this school and its land-grant mission and a big supporter of its work. But amid all the great work, the center and the programs fill a particularly important need right now for our state and for its people. The question the center asks is how can we take the very um, best ideas and innovations and make these ideas a ladder of opportunity for the most distressed communities in our state? That's a powerful notion. Powerful because it's, it has the opportunity to change lives for the better, to make a difference for families across our state. If you doubt that the work that you're doing at the summit is important, um, think about what the last few months have taught us. We've seen COVID-19 do tremendous damage in our state, but it is hit hardest in the urban and rural communities that lack economic, healthcare, and other kinds of resources. COVID-19 highlighted the digital divide that separates students in my district from the affordable broadband access they need to get their virtual education, their classrooms, but again, a problem that affects rural and urban communities alike. At the same time, we've had to cope with the new challenge of COVID-19. We've had to face a far older, more enduring problem, racial injustice and inequality. Much as we'd like to think that we've made progress on dealing with racism, the conversations I've had with community leaders this spring and summer have made it painfully clear that we have major work to do. That work begins with addressing the inequalities that we've seen in law enforcement, the criminal justice system, but it does not end there. We have to recognize that the inequalities we're seeing in housing and education and economic opportunity are equally important sources of injustice. That's why it's so important that this summit is addressing issues like broadband access and promoting entrepreneurship in distressed communities. There is no denying that we face tough challenges right now. Um, the public health uh, and economic crisis of COVID-19, the enduring challenge of racial injustice. But the answers to these challenges lie in places like this summit. It's connecting the hardest hit communities to the most cutting edge innovations that, so that we can enable forward leaps in opportunity. It's making sure the most economically distressed neighborhoods can benefit from cutting edge technology in automated vehicles, clean energy, and other advanced fields. It's networks across the state sharing the best ideas and the most powerful innovations so that they spread to every corner of Michigan. I tell people all the time that as a member of Congress, my job is to make the difference for the pocketbooks and the kids of the people I represent. Well, that's your job every day. It's your mission, just like it's mine. And I'm so grateful for your commitment to your work. So please accept my best wishes for a great second day at the Innovate Summit and for all your efforts to bring the lessons of the summit home to the people you serve to make a difference in their lives and their future. Thanks and good luck to each of you.